Tiak Research Base is an instance added in Aeon Classic that serves the same purpose as Dredgeon, getting some PvP and some AP. To enter Tiak, it's like Dredgeon. Apply as a group or as a solo when it is open, and when Aeon finds your game, you have to accept the invitation. You get teleported in these areas. Before explaining the strategy, let's detail the different goals. In Tiak, the end goal is to have more points than your enemies at the end. The end is either 30 minutes, or if a team kills the last boss. How do you earn points? There are several ways to do so. The first one is to capture the data processors. It gives you 300 points when captured the first time, and as long as you control it, it gives you 10 points every 10 seconds. There are 5 of them spread on the map, and they stack. The second way is to kill mobs. The prisoners in the middle areas are sought after because they're 100 points each. Gathering is a third way, although only the one who gathers will get the 50 points. Nexor can be found in the Drana field in the main area. Fourth is obviously PvP. The system is the same as in Dredgeon, as a death will make you lose points, and if you die to an opponent, he will earn points. Fifth is to kill bosses. In Tiak there are two bosses that spawn every time, the Marabata and the Spala, while the big slime is a seldom occurrence and has three possible spawns as shown by the squared pins, it doesn't give points anyway, it's just there for a quest. The catch is that the first two are stuck in a test tube at the beginning and you'll have to wait for them to pop out to kill them. If you manage to kill all three bosses, you get a platinum medal. You can of course complete this task over multiple Tiak. The bosses drop nothing interesting by the way. Quests also play a part in Tiak, but you'll mostly do them in the first square room you enter. There are three where you have to kill the mutated mobs inside the cells and their guards for between 800 and 1200 AP per quest. How do you kill the last boss? The last boss is in a locked room and can be accessed in two ways. The first one is straightforward. You climb the stairs in the middle, destroy the gate and proceed. There are a lot of bulky mobs and the gate is slow to kill too. It is so slow that nobody does it unless you don't have a choice. The second way requires your team to control the two data processors of the middle area. When you do so, barrier generators will spawn right before the entrance of the eastern and western cave entrances. Killing both of them will open the two side gates leading to the boss. After a certain amount of time, these gates will regenerate and you'll have to start over from the first step. It can allow you to lock yourself with the boss if timed correctly. There is an extra mechanic that I didn't cover and it's the teleporters. Like in Dredgeon, there are teleporters for when you die and you want to go somewhere fast. Five of them are on the map, but unlike Dredgeon, their ownership can be flipped, and only the owner can use to them. If your team is locked in the spawn by the opponent, you can still break the door and walk on the broken ladder to the other side to still get some points and quests done. On NA Classic, a spirit master called Quan was famous for winning solo by doing it sideways. Last tip, you'll notice Tiak is a place where a lot of training happen. If you hide behind a test tube that hold a boss, they'll give up. To sum it up, in a perfect scenario, with no opponent, you spawn here at the beginning, complete your quest in the first room, and make sure you take control of the teleporter and the Drana processor. Then proceed to either the Drana field that separates you from the other side to take the data processor, or fly to the north to check if the slime is here. Clear mobs takes the two data processors and the prisoners in the middle, wait for the bosses to free themselves, then kill the barrier generator to open the gate and kill the final boss. I would like to thank JSA for the footage and Elfira for clearing up some mechanics as Tiak is 4am for me on NA Classic. Too late to learn it by myself.